Hey, what's up, Loopers? My name is Matt McCoy. I'm the founder of loopcommunity.com, and I'm also an Ableton Live certified trainer. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom click and cue track in Ableton Live. So if you have a song that you don't have a multi-track for, maybe it's a song you wrote or a song that's brand new that hasn't come out yet and you need a click and cue for it, you can do that all within Ableton Live and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in the song into Ableton Live. So I have like the M4A file for the song. This is called God Who Saves. And I'm gonna bring it into Session View. First thing we need to do is figure out what is the tempo of this song. So I'm gonna hit play on it. And then I'm just gonna tap here in the top left corner to figure out what the tempo is of the song. So we don't have to be perfectly exact, but getting close is important. All right, so it looks like it's maybe around 98, 99. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just drag this audio file to Arrangement View by just dragging it like this. And let's go click the Back to Arrangement View button. And now we need to get this track lined up to the grid. So I'm gonna set the grid to 98. And let's, um, I'm gonna go ahead and also just trim the beginning of the track. If you hold Command, you can trim it a little bit farther. And let's move it all the way to the beginning and let's hit play with the click turned on. All right, so we're pretty close. It might be 98 exactly. If you don't do it right the first time, you can just tweak this by 99, maybe go down one, maybe go up one, until you hear it lock in just like that. I also check later on in the song to make sure that it's still in time. Let me turn it down a little. Okay, great. So we have the song locked into the grid. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Loop Community's click and cue pack. This is the pack you can get from our shop, and it loads into Ableton Live as a drum rack. So I'm gonna to go to my user library, go to presets, go to drum rack, and now just drag the cue pack here. And it created a MIDI track with the cue pack. I'm gonna rename this one, I'm gonna call it click. First thing we're gonna make is the click. So I'm going to highlight the first bar like this, Right click and go to insert MIDI clip. This will bring up the piano roll where now I can draw in the click sounds. Let's go ahead and just turn on the headphone here. I'm gonna scroll down. These are all the different sounds in the cue pack. Two, one. So here's my click sounds. I'm gonna pull out the pencil tool which you can do with command B. I'm gonna draw in an accent here and then three down clicks. And let's see what that sounds like. Cool. So now if I want that click to go for the whole song, I can just click and drag that MIDI clip and it's going to duplicate it all the way down my timeline. So now I have a click. Now let's go ahead and bring in the cue pack again and this time we're gonna be making the actual cue. So let's rename this cue pack and we're gonna call it cue. And now we need to draw in where the different cues happen in the song. Now. In this case, I actually want to do a uh, intro cue. So to do that, I need to move my audio back one bar like this. And I'm gonna highlight the first bar, right click, go to insert MIDI clip. And now again, I can draw in my cues for this. So I'm gonna say, let's do intro. Intro. And then two, three, four is what I want. Two, three, four. There we go. And let's see what that sounds like. Intro, two, three, four. Awesome. And now let's find out where the verse is. All right, so it starts right there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in a, I'm gonna make a cue right here for verse. I'm gonna right click and go to insert MIDI clip. And I'm gonna change this to verse. Verse. And then two, three, four. Two. Three, now to four. save time, what I can do is just copy this MIDI clip by doing Command C. And let's find out where the chorus is. I think it's down here. Right here. 
So I'm gonna just click here and paste. And now I'm gonna just go in here and change this verse cue by just clicking on it and change it to chorus. Chorus. Now you just do that for the rest of the song, and then you can export those stems as their, as their own click and cue wave by just going to File, Export Audio, and choose All Individual Tracks. And it's going to export every single track as its own wave file. So that, in just a couple minutes, is how you can create your own custom click and cue tracks in Ableton Live.